Oh, yeah. It's a little music by our friend Titanic Sinclair, everybody. From Hollywood, California, the Sunshine State, Harmontown is once again in session. Let's bring out Spencer Crittenden right off the bat. And the mayor of Harmontown, Dan Harmon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's very kind. Very kind people. Thank you very much. All right, we've got a lot to talk about. Oh, shit. All right. What, what should we talk about? It's, uh, it's, 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 it's part of a, a, time, a time strip. I got high. All right. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, w- I, went, I went out of the way. Yeah, what do we, what do we talk about first? Uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm you guys, tra- if you want, you can all just come back in like 10 minutes. Was- <laughs> I'm trying to look through and like, what what will I be mad uh, if Rob interrupts before I bring out Rob? Uh, like, uh, Let's bring out Rob Schraub, everybody. <laughs> He might have got bigger applause than the mayor. It's all ironic. Everybody loves uh, Loki more than Thor, but they know who the good guy is. I'll take that. I will take that. I'll take that comparison. (laughs) Brought to you by Dr. Pepper. Oh, God damn it. This is what you get when you don't talk to me at dinner. All right, well, it, was a, it was a big booth, and you guys were big kind of booth. cross. I, okay, well, can we talk about our text message exchange? Sure. I All got right. nothing to hide. All right. Well, st- okay, can we bring Steve Levy out? Because he has a part in this. Oh, yeah, Steve Levy. I'm sorry if you're here for this. Right. Fucking c- clean-shaven, freshly what? cut Levy. Like, like, uh, Look at the biceps on this guy. He's the hottest... Like you look like he looks like, like, like Captain you, you America. Look like, you look like you were one of the guys like kind of changing in the background in that locker room scene in Top Gun, and you're like, yeah, you're like, yeah. Like, but you are on Iceman's side. Uh, all okay. right, so I'm just saying this guy's got fantastic. Also, do you wax? You're smooth as like a as an eel. Jeez, what's happening? No, I don't wax. I'm just saying again, you can subscribe, ladies, five dollars a month. <laughs> Get to see this shit. Okay, so I got a text message from Shrab. Let's see. A couple of I them. I think it was yesterday. All right, first text message. <laughs> yesterday, 3.26 p.m., uh, uh, Shrab says, wait, what should we... Should, what did I... I don't even we, remember. Should we read... We should read each our own parts. Okay, no, so. no, 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 no. Okay, go Come ahead. on. No. <laughs> yeah, read your fucking text that you sent Open me your script, Rob. 3.26 p.m. <laughs> Open you your eye script. You want me to? Yeah, read your. <laughs> this is like like being like the, well, the Steppenwolf. I, I, I have to. T- I, my phone's dead. I mean, I can't. My phone's dead. So go sit next to him and do it together. No, no, no you just re- just read it. Just read it. Man, this is the worst. <laughs> the well, worst you call. Ever. You know, if we you would have mentioned something at dinner, we we could have had it all planned out. I didn't know you were gonna do this. Just, go ahead. Just sit here and read your fucking texts. <laughs> Because oh, I brought a, Levy out so Levy could yeah, read his in the middle. That's do? the funny part. This is all the worst. All right. Okay. Okay. It's like 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 the podcast has become like we're like the 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 unearned popular kids and the, 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 the like like at the lunch table and it's like we think okay. that the lunch table means we have a TV show. <laughs> okay. We're we're closing in on on, on our two hundredth episode and we still haven't figured it out. Uh, all right, but there's 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 at least five people in the audience tonight who have never been here, and they're like, "What the fuck is this? What is this?" Like, I thought he, I thought he, I, where's Chevy Chase? Where's what's? 
All right, just read. So, Am I y- reading you or am I reading? No, you're reading yourself. Okay. Yesterday, 3.26 p.m. Okay. Yesterday. Just don't touch it. See with your eyes, not with your hands. <laughs> it's too I small. Have to... I'm sorry. We gotta... He's got bad eyesight. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Where is it? Where, where, are we where are we starting? Aren't they adorable? There. Yesterday, 3.20. This is the worst. <laughs> Just had brunch with Chris Pratt. Kind of a big deal. Yeah! 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 Oh, shit. Oh, no. He's got P. Yeah! Dozen. <laughs> Pratt brunch at Soho House. Holy shit. Uh, so I let it go. <laughs> Which makes me feel like you didn't get it. Oh, I got it. <laughs> I mean, so but then, I didn't know that. I thought you didn't hear it. So then, at, what was it, an hour later? What's the timestamp? So then I get a text message from Steve Levy some Shrub. time later. This is from Steve. <laughs> uh, hold on. Because Shrub's... <laughs> uh, here, here. Uh, where, uh, where was it? We, this is God. We text a lot. I send you a lot of vines. <laughs> you sent me so many vines. This is, this is even better than going to see Hamilton. This is amazing. It's a the fucking stagecraft up here. It's at the here. top of the screen. Yet Execution. this is three hours after that at six p.m. This is from Steve Levy. Six oh three p.m. Schraub wants me to tell you he had a he had brunch with Chris Pratt. <laughs> Well, you did, I didn't know you got it, so I wanted to make sure. In case you were trying to get a hold of me, I had my phone on do not disturb mode while I was having, having, having a meeting with Pratt. So then I said, my assistant telling me about your brunch with Chris Pratt doesn't make it dinner with Chris Pratt. <laughs> At 10.08 p.m. 9.14 a.m., so 12 hours later... You said, it's at the top, and just fucking read it. It was a great meeting. He's super friendly. (laughs) And then I said, don't you think it's possible he was acting? (laughs) Why would he do that? Maybe that's how actors practice. Maybe making someone think they're your friend is the acting equivalent of catching a fly with chopsticks. Have you been an actor this whole time? (laughs) No, and that's why my friendship is more valuable to you than his. (laughs) That's all I wanted to know. (laughs) Screen grab. All right, that's it. Thanks, Steve. You got it. Steve Levy. See, that, when, when they remake this on Broadway, I think the more coveted role is a Steve Levy role. I think he becomes the well, whole... Well, that's the big punchline. That's yeah. what I like. I, I ruined it. I, I, was like, I was like, I shouldn't have never... I shouldn't have thought, like, oh, we should read those texts. It should be organic. See, when you go after something, you kill the butterfly. All right, so I shit my pants again. Like, I went to uh, uh, Palm Springs with uh, my... Yeah, that's oh. what they're calling it now. I went to Palm Springs before... <laughs> I came on stage, man. <laughs> El Compadre. I went. I, I, I was driving there with my lover. It's t- t- two-hour drive, and uh, you've taken a lover. Did a did a little. Uh, did Dan a little... Harmon takes a lover. <laughs> He's taken uh, a lover. A two-hour ride to Palm Springs. <laughs> All right, it's a, it's it's a story. I mean, it's just okay. okay. Yeah, I was giving you a title okay. sequence. So I so I so I, I I took a little hit. I I I grabbed the vape pen. Her vape pen is differently configured than mine. Right. And I kind of like I I took a big full hit, and I and then I started coughing, and during the cough, like each cough, as you know, I fart, <laughs> largely. And I was like, 
those f- those feel like hot farts like and I was like coughing like 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 horrible horrible coughing like like uh. Uh, uh, and and for f- there were four in a row that I was like that that was a hot fart four in a row and then and then everything was fine then we went on two hour drive gr- great time I made her a wonderful birthday present I'm very talented while you were driving no. <laughs> No, I made... She's a fan of the Karina Longworth uh, podcast, uh, You Must Remember This. I made her a half-hour episode of You Must Remember This. Uh, I want to hear this. Uh, it, you, well, you can't. It's her birthday present. Uh, so we listened to it. She loved it. And, uh, uh, and, then, and, then, and, then, and then she's like, oh, we're almost to the place. We're about 10 minutes away. We probably, this is probably our last chance to stop, grab some snacks. Stopped at a, a Walgreens. And uh, got out and... Remembered and felt that, that you weren't just making birthday presents. <laughs> they weren't hot farts. They were. So I mean, the, the the opening the opening credits that Rob was making. He Rob didn't know the movie was called Hot Farts. Right. And I'm saying it's got a Z. I was like walking around hot Walgreens, hot and then I went. I was like, I was like, I don't know what's going on back there, but I can tell it's yeah. a big deal. Like I don't know, I don't know for sure. You never know for sure. Yeah. I, I, I'm drinking Soylent a lot during the weeks, and so, it, thanks. Well, I'm just Why? only I'm telling you that uh, kind of throwing Soylent under the bus because I don't want you to think bitch. Jesus, he's dying. <laughs> I do shit my pants more than the average person. We've learned that, but but I also like I'm drinking a lot of liquid. Um, the uh, and then I went back to the uh, restroom area, and the restroom was uh, closed. It was uh, under renovations, oh, no. <laughs> and there was like one of those key code things in the women's room. So I just I sloshed back out, and like I, I, I wait, just... you 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 had already let it rip. It's already in. It's already out. They were hot farts, man. Oh, so, oh I, I'm sorry. I, you're already you're already carrying this. He shat his pants okay. four times. I, I, I thought you were still like you didn't know what was about. Oh no to no 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 okay. no. This isn't like a like a story about like oh it leads up and then let's, let's celebrate the moment of the shit. I'm saying this is like a uh, like right. like oh I, I I I coughed and then each cough I was like that was a hot fart. Uh, sorry. Uh, that was a hot fart too. There was like four of them and I was like if those were all hot farts. Why doesn't it smell in the whole car? And if they if they if they weren't if they were something else, why doesn't it smell? They they and then forgot about them because I wasn't moving around. So I was like 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 oh I guess nothing's wrong. Got out at the Walgreens and then felt okay. I could feel right. Okay, something happened. Gotcha. So uh, you shit your pants. And then and then really there's almost well I, then I had to like because I was like I shit my pants. And uh, it's just like, well, go to the bathroom. Bathroom is closed. So I was like, just get it. We just gotta go. And I just like, I just went back to the car and I just like sat down. <laughs> did you get? Did you get like? I mean, the, you could get like wet wipes and stuff like that at the. I hadn't thought about that, but what was I gonna do? Take them into the like a, a dumpster or like a? It was a desert. Like there's, it's like like like, like stack up rattlesnakes sh- and just like hide behind the rattlesnakes and. If you can't I, shit in the desert, man. Why? Where can you? <laughs> I didn't have to shit. I'd shit my pants. I'd have to remove my pants. So remove you went the to the underwear. You went. You went to this. You went to a wedding. You went to a wedding. Where did you go? It was a birthday weekend. It was a birthday weekend. <laughs> birthday weekend. Okay. All right. And so. So ha- Dan, happy birthday. So you're back in the car. At- I was telling the story. I know it's also like, uh, you're like, wait, 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 wait. What happened? Right. You shit your pants. Right, yes. So then what happened? I'll be right with you. All right. So you're you're back in the car now. I you're sat in the car. You're sitting like, on the hot still, I don't know, like, like how what's going on? And I like, just I just held still. And we're in the desert. And, just, and then we pulled up to the thing. And she's like, I'll check in. I'm like, Yeah, you check in. I'm not gonna move. I'm just gonna sit here in my shit. And then I was like sitting there, and it it, it was like a while because they're hippies, you know, out in the desert, and it's like a, some artisanal hotel. They probably had to pay and bark or something. And like the like, so I'm I'm sitting there, and I I I just like I could swear that I. Like, like hallucinating that I could feel something dripping down my leg. Like I, but I wasn't. I couldn't. I didn't want to check. I didn't want to. I was just wanted. I was just sitting there. I just sat there. And then we got to the bathroom and or the the room. And I and then I looked. Ah, it's just a little Rorschach. Okay. <laughs> That's the end of my story. I shit my pants. Okay. All right. Lots to talk about. So. Uh, 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 I, can I? I. I have one question. You're I telling can. me. You, you, you did four hot farts in the car. 
drove to the Wal- Walgreens, Walmart, Walgreens, and then you got out of the car, realized that you had indeed pooped your pants. Yeah. Walked around a little while while you're trying to sort it out, couldn't get into one restroom, didn't know the key code to the ladies' restroom. Uh, go back to the car, sit in the car, take another, I w- I'm assuming a few more minute drive back to, like, to on, 10 minutes. On to the crib. Right. She goes into the check in, paying with Bark. You're sitting out in a hot desert car, possibly poop running, running on your legs, or you're having like a, like, you're having like a psychosomatic, yeah. like. It didn't smell like shit in the car? No. What? That's Because it really wasn't that. It I seems mean, like it, once it's out of the fucking box, it's fucking. Yeah, but maybe it's just like, I got a big hairy butt, and it's like, a lot of stuff can be going on up there. God knows that you couldn't eat off it right now, and the room doesn't stink. I think the secret is to be a big, wide person with a with a giant right. canyon for an ass, and it's like because I was on stage doing an improv show a long time ago, and one of the one of the improvisers had to run off stage, like really unceremoniously, just leave the show like halfway through, and the whole room smelled like like poop. But we didn't connect those dots because it smelled like poop before he left. We thought something else was happening, but he had indeed completely emptied his drawers. On stage, yeah. So you just let a little. No, I've never done. I don't even remember when I've done that, but I have a lot of stories about like farts gone awry. <laughs> Was it? I I, 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 I probably have said this before, but I, I, and I might be misquoting it either way. Tommy Lasorda, the uh, ex-manager of the uh, the yeah. Los Angeles Dodgers. Yeah. Uh, wow, I got finger snaps from uh, Dave Klein on that one. I didn't expect that. Uh, he, he he had some advice for people, and I think there was more than this, but he said. Uh, Never pass like when you get older. Never pass a bathroom and never trust a fart. Right, never trust a fart. That's the thing. I had to learn that in my thirties. That I I had to stop. I'd be I'd be like, you know what else is on the menu? And then I'd be like, I'll be right back. <laughs> oh yeah. So yeah, you, you've lost the ability to do to yeah, do bit you farts. You can't do it anymore. When's the last time you shit your pants, Spencer? Uh, I think I was like uh, nineteen or something. It was just a fart gone awry. Yeah. Right outside of a Taco Bell, fittingly. Wow. <laughs> hey, uh, Jeff, what would the Sam Elliott ad for, uh, for, uh, uh, wait, what would it, for, uh, for, 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 come on down to Palm Springs and go to the all new Walmart. We've closed the men's room because Dan Harmon comes by once in a while. <laughs> Ladies, the passcode is 3421. All right, that's Sam Elliott for Walgreens. <laughs> it's a new segment I want to do. It's uh, Sam Elliott. Check out Harmon Quest on CISO. <laughs> hey, this is Sam Elliott for... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to make for, you do one, too. For Shrob's, Shrob's Mama's Pussy. <laughs> oh, she was on the show. She was on the show. Uh, yeah. Really, you know, really not cool. All the glitters isn't gold. <laughs> but there's one substance that never tarnishes in my mind, and that's Shrub's mom's pussy. Right, 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 of course. I call it the mother load. Right. <laughs> Sam Elliott. All right. It's not cool. All right. Let's Dan Harmon, uh, I, I heard on the. I was listening to a talk radio, which I don't normally do, and I heard that. Shrab, give me like a small business of any kind. Shoe, shoe, a uh, shoe. <laughs> I heard an ad for shoes. I don't. I don't know if it was shoe makers or shoe repairers. Shoe business. Shoe. It's a whole shoe business. The shoe business. It's called. It's called shoe biz. Yeah. Shoe business. Shoe biz. Also with shoe a Z, just like hot farts. Shoe biz. Shoe biz. Uh, there was a local spot by Ice T. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yo. Yo. <laughs> Do your feet suffer from no shoeitis? <laughs> Remember, it's not personal, it's shoe business. <laughs> Come on down to shoe. We got all manner of foot coverings, boot jacks, flap naps, canvas tops, high backs, round arounds, mule wedges, pumps, 
double pumps, nine pumps, neo pumps, and the revolutionary air nine. At shoe. Fuck you. All right. Now, I guarantee you, as we, you know, we're, we're toying with searching for sponsorship here. There's got to be a place called Shoebiz. Oh, for sure, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's just free advertising for Shoebiz. We're just giving this shit away. Dr. Pepper's looking right at camera three over there. Uh, so, uh, 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 during the trip, uh, you guys use Waze sometimes? Uh, yeah, I use that Waze, have you, man. Have you used the Shaquille O'Neal uh, Waze voice? <laughs> Oh, I haven't heard that. Shaquille O'Neal, Way's voice, uh, says, uh, "I don't know if I can do an impression of him." Is that is like a big guy, <laughs> and uh, he was like, "Hazard ahead, be careful, don't cause a shack accident." <laughs> All right, what? It, what he if takes that pause? Like he's like, police? "Get ready." Did does, they, he, <laughs> does he say about police? Yeah, he says the police thing is. Police reported ahead. Don't be shacked in a fool. My favorite, they used to have Terry Crews as like a Brooklyn Nine-Nine uh, integration, and Terry Crews was the best because he would be like, Police reported ahead! <laughs> it would just be really was that exciting. The guy that was, I used to get in your car and it would just be like, Turn right! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I, 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 like left and then go straight. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. great. Okay. Everybody, keep your eyes out for a 1998 Toyota Corolla. It's a Schachter alert. <laughs> that's about child abduction. Now, yeah, that's Shaq. Shaq doing an Amber alert. Amber I'm just trying, and Shaq. Oh. A Schachter alert. A Shaq-ter oh well, alert. I thought. I mean, it was like I thought the car was stolen. Oh yeah. You, you, didn't, you didn't mention a child. Look, we'll pick it up in post. <laughs> Uh, I haven't eaten much today. <laughs> hey, okay, so Game of Thrones, which we, you know we're all missing tonight. Thank you for. So, I already saw it. Yay! So la- la- it's, a, it's a good app. Last week's episode. Now, I'm not, so, are, these aren't spoilers. I'm not gonna. I don't think we I already I t- did that last episode. I think what I really spoiled some stuff for people. Did I? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know about you. Some people did. <laughs> it's fine. Let's move past. It. Um, uh, that's why. That's why you say spoiler alert, and they're supposed to put their fingers in the air and go na 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 na. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this episode, or the, the the not tonight, but last week, I finally have a, a girlfriend who also like me likes to watch all television and movies with the subtitles on. Closed caption. Yeah. Can't ever understand what the fuck people are saying, especially in that show. You're from House What? It's gibberish. It's gibberish. Also, so many names start with the same letter and the same people. And they're and all vowels, and it's like, Varar. And what like, oh, letter? Oh, Varar. Oh, boy, what, now I know everything. What letter do they all start you with? You got a Teary and a Tywin, a Tomwin, a Timmy Taps, a Tooby Doops. So, did you see the scene where the they're in the they're at King's Landing? I think Tooby Doops, this is his season, by the way. <laughs> they're having the uh, uh, King's Landing, like, the, the, the workplace comedy King's Landing... Uh, boardroom meetings, you know, <laughs> where, where, where Cersei's kind of like, guys, KR, WKRP needs to get to get his profit margins back up. You know, it's wow. like it's like this like they, they have those scenes where it's like her little like like unwilling minions are gathered around the table, and the the guy, the old guy, the bearded old old fucking guy with the bathroom, Ma- Maester Tooby Toops. Ma- yeah, oh, I, I, the guy that the guy that in one episode they revealed when everyone's out of the room he's he's only seventy not ninety. Yeah. <laughs> remember that? Remember that yeah, scene? Oh. He, he, he was like they left and he was like. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh wow, you're only pretending to be ninety. You're yeah. seventy, and that's cool. Uh, that'll come into play. That'll pay off. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be like like yeah like like. like there's going to be like, an 80 year old chasing him yeah, be, like, be, this is my chance yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to catch him by a decade <laughs> wait a minute what's going on it's like they cut down to the verbal Kent Kaiser Soze like, like shot of the feet They're like wait that's not a 90 year old's gait <laughs> no, the, the, the that's unit- a hobble that's a full hobble <laughs> the unit guy's going to walk in everyone we have a serious problem there's a slam dunk contest in 45 <laughs> minutes <laughs> 
Uh, yes. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> the basket will be, of course, lowered each time a round is failed, but it's, the opponent is 85, and as we all know, our champion is a sharp 90. Uh, anyways, that guy was talking shit about... <laughs> Uh, you know, Darth Zombie Man, the the fucking like guy, the 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 mountain, the mountain, it got turned into a. a I, like, I like Darth green Zombie. Is good. This guy, uh, and uh, he's talking shit about him. He's doing the old. He's right behind me, isn't he? Because uh, he's like that thing ought to be. It, uh, yeah, yeah, to put that thing to death. Like as far as I'm concerned, that thing's like oh, crazy, and it's like ch- chomp, chomp, chomp. Like it's a, coming up in the frame, and then he turns and goes. And then he, if you're if you're watching it with the subtitles, like you know for sure what what's about to, like like he he looks and then there's a beat and then he farts. Yeah. The car- it says and it says in the subtitles farts. And there's like a little like sound. What's going on at Game of Thrones this season? Yeah. Do you think they hot farts? Do you think they added that? They could have. They might. Do you think they added that in post, or do you think that was scripted? Well, if you That's... knew, if you knew how many farts I had to actively suppress in Community, like, like, because God bless them, but audio engineers, they're. <laughs> 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 I mean, they they got to make their own fun, like like, and they they will have a track of the entire show if they've had time, like, and they're like, of course we could, you know, well, Glenn's in the bathroom, we could play the uh, <laughs> play it for him, and then they play it, and it's just like there's horse whinnies and like hooves and farts and everything's a fart, and like the Wilhelm scream is all lines of dialogue, and like, and then, and it's just like, guys, I love your craft, I love what you do, it's very important to me. <laughs> But everyone can't be farting all the time, and I think this is like, 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 yeah, they were like, like, they must have, like, like, they, they, maybe they said, like, call George R. R. Martin, and 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 because you know we're we're having a debate in the mix bay, and he's like, I'm just the writer, I'm working on the books, and they're like, there's a fart, and he's like, I can't hear you. You're... I I hope we get more young Hodor. I want like a young Hodor spinoff. Remember when, yeah. he, when he little little young teenage Hodor. I, can, I, I hope that whole storyline. Uh, oh, I'm loving, I'm loving skeleton. it now. I'm loving it now. Oh man, you like the I'm brand? Loving it now. You like the Wog brand? I'm loving it now. Yeah. <laughs> now that now that Brand's in his awkward years. Yeah, I'm all over the Wikipedia. I'm reading stuff. Things are interesting. It's crazy. Are you being sarcastic? No, no. It's it seems like it's leading somewhere where it could be leading somewhere that's completely like new weird territory that's oh, like never man. done before. I hope so. I yeah, hope yeah, it's yeah. not more eye white animal occupying. I don't, I don't, and I don't want to hang out in a tree anymore. <laughs> and I don't want to walk through holodeck flashbacks. I don't like. Look, what am I complaining about? It's a good show. Yeah. It just seems like the season's kind of like, hey, what if what if they had a meeting? Yeah, there, there was a whole season where there was no crows. I was I was okay with that. <laughs> like one, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what is. What, what, yeah, okay, well, this is a good question. <laughs> Unless you're not into Game of Thrones and wandered in here tonight, uh, what 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 is the what, like of the of 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 the of the of the nineteen like places you can cut to in a Game of Thrones episode? Like what really like like what's the top one for you that you're you're like leaning in? Give me a moment to think about that. I, I recently asked somebody what would be the shittiest if you were an actor. Oh, when we had uh, when we had Grey Worm on, like like what was the shittiest gig? We talked about that here. What would be the best one? Do you have one already on? Hand? I don't really. I don't know what my answer to that is. I think what's what's the one where everybody's fancy, like the where the where the, 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 where the seat of power is. What's that one? Yeah, King, yeah King, uh, probably King's Landing. But but Dinklage is out of there now. Like, uh, uh, yeah, that was yeah, but my, you can still have a nice outfit. Th- that on was my favorite. Was when he was there and he was like he handed the king and he was hanging out and stuff. Okay. Anyways, what? <laughs> it wouldn't. It wouldn't what be a dumb it, podcast. <laughs> a stupid ass podcast. I, uh, uh, but really, where would you get Game of Thrones conversation if, if, <laughs> if this podcast didn't do? This it? is your only place on the internet to find out. About uh, this. All right, let's get back to the stuff only we can provide. So, <laughs> do, are there any women with big boobs in here? That, <laughs> to, if wait for it, like, do you have a problem with seatbelts? Yeah. Okay, that sounded like a lot of big boob women. That sounded like a unanimous consent in that one. Do you do you put how many of those women? Uh, uh, I don't know how to measure it by because it's by applause. It's, it's like by eight cup of you size. Your, 
I don't want I don't want to embarrass you. I want to give you your privacy. Oh. But but uh, like like I guess you said yes when I said do you, you have big boobs? You can say it the same way. Do you put the seatbelt behind you? That's that was a that was a that felt like that felt like there's 12 women with big boobs in here and four to seven of them drive with the seatbelt wrapped behind them because it disturbs their boobs. Just a thought. That's bad. <laughs> Started dating someone with big boobs, and I'm uh, I'm an advocate, and I and I want you to be safe in the car. Yeah. So what happened? So so one of you that, uh, gals that drives with it behind, like, do you, like you're sacrificing the shoulder strap, and you're just doing the lap belt. Basically. Really. The illusion of safety. The illusion of safety. So is it, yeah, you, like you might not be flung out of the car; you'll just be smashed into the dashboard head first. <laughs> That's a bummer. Is 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 is, 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 is there anybody? Is there anybody like a, a, like travel safety, whatever that's called, like working on seatbelts that can accommodate that? In no? here, are you asking if there's no. anybody in here? No, no. I mean, like, like no. I, I, I am asking, <laughs> Professor Mortimer, Mortimer Xavier Honda. I, are, are, are people currently like working on? on I doubt on, it. Remedying that? Yeah, probably not. And I feel like what? There's a um, as seen on TV where it's like, like a sleeve. Oh, huh. oh, oh! Like there's like, like a, there's uh, people sell a uh, yeah, like a to yeah. Is that supposed to ease the? But that doesn't work. I'm assuming. Wait, okay. So the boobs lift the belt and make it like a braid your neck. Ah. So look, I don't want to white knight the situation, but look, uh, body body shaming. <laughs> I'm saying, like, like if it's not getting addressed, it's because you know how you know, like we've done a number on women. Like, how many of them are gonna write to anybody and say, "I've got giant tits and I've got a problem with that"? It's like, 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 but, like, none of them are gonna do it. And but it's like, you, a lot of them are driving around, like, like. Uh, has there been no public rest. outcry on that, that that you know of? Anybody? That's that's crazy. <laughs> it's like, and it's like, you know, like, like, uh, yeah, like, like. Because uh, I had the same problem with the lap belt. <laughs> See, that's exactly that's the customer service line when you call and you're like Siri, like you're disturbed because you just had a near accident or you lost a friend and you're like calling and you're like kind of crying and like and then the guy's like ask you like eight questions and then you go it's like okay I'm just getting this down because uh, it's the same with me in the lap belt and, they, and then you hear three guys laughing and then they <laughs> and you just hang up and curl up in the corner sob um. Yeah. Well. Well, ladies with big boobs, let it be said here first. I am on your side. Uh, Dan Harmon, your friend welcome. of ladies with big boobs. Uh, oh, it's, 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 ladies and gentlemen, Sam Elliott for big boob seatbelts. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I was gonna go to a really dark place in that one. What you making there, Shrab? Uh. Jesus. <laughs> Shit, sorry. <laughs> I, I dropped my microphone a little bit. I dropped it. On it. it was on, I got on my foot. We, <laughs> and I can't, can't cable got we here at BMW have a whole new concept about the way cars should be driven and driven in. You got some big old hang down floppers? Do you got some big old out front punch em rounds? <laughs> He's going into the different kinds of breasts. I don't know. Don't, don't make me do a commercial for titty safety. Right. What else do you got? Your, your bosom deserves the respect. I can't. I sound, I sound. Ice tea for titty safety. Why does he have a rap beat? I, because he's iced tea. Well, he's a yeah, but it makes it harder for me. I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't play uh, 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 Nashville music when you're doing <laughs> Sam Elliott. I, if I had it, I would play it. I'm not allowed to play licensed music anymore. <laughs> yeah. Just let me, look, if you're gonna pimp me to do iced tea uh, endorsements, don't play a beat because I'm not gonna rap to it. Then it's just gonna, it's just a sound. All right. Iced tea for, um, for manned space exploration. <clears throat> and then and the funding thereof. 
We've been on this earth for over five trillion years. <laughs> and we still can't get off it? Shit. <laughs> it don't even matter to me personally what's out there. It's a principle of the thing. Gotta get my ass off this planet. If you feel the same way, write your congressman. That was pretty good. Yeah, I, I liked was, it. The beat was fucking me up. I liked it. Uh, okay, all right. What else is on here? I got, okay. Well, I, you know, I said I had a lot to talk about, but I'm really realizing it's just a bunch of dumb, cutesy shit that, like, because I was in love all weekend, so I was like, I was, uh, I said, I said, I said, I said <laughs> and throughout the week also. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> the, <laughs> threw it. Threw it. Ah! Trouble in Little China. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what was that? You did you talk about on the show yet? The fact that you drove in an Uber with a dude who was like full blown flat Earth uh, guy. Oh, yeah. Did you talk about that here? Th- I don't. I don't think we did. Did I? Oh dear heavens! I totally forgot about that. There's still flat Earth people, and Th- they're, this guy they're was, down to talk. This guy was an, he, he seemed like a reasonable, rational, like. Sober individual who, who, like, he was articulate. What music was playing? <laughs> this is Ice T. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Ice T stuck his head he in the had... window for a second. <laughs> <laughs> and then he drove yeah. away. Sorry. Ice T, what the so, fuck? Sorry, I can see you're busy. I'm going on a coffee run. Oh, you guys are going. I left. I left. Like an ice cream truck or something. This was a month and a half or two months ago, probably, right? I, I left the Harmon Town here and I got into a lift. And the dude had. Sometimes people put their, their ways, their phone, like, in a, like on the dash or on suction cups at the window or up on their visor or different places. Where else? Uh, <laughs> uh, are there other places? Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. And their passengers big titties because oh yeah yeah because yeah. it keeps the chafing on the neck. Uh, so he he had, but he had another screen up. But he had a big like like one of those giant Samsungy like big ones, and and I'm, I'm, I'm talking about his dick. No, uh, no, he had, he, had, he had a screen up on the visor, and he when I got in, it was clearly like, um, kind of like talk radio, but like with, with visuals, like there was like like just pictures, and it was guys talking about science stuff, and he kind of. Not like rushed to turn it off, but he like I got in the car. I, he got the destination and he turned it off. I'm like, what was going on there? He had like some planets in space. He's like, yeah, like it's you know it's a science thing. I listen to. Oh, I, I like science. Like we started talking about stuff, and uh, it was revealed at one point that he is a flat Earth believer. Flat Earther is there a name for it? Whoa. And so he's like, the whole thing is a lie. The Earth is flat, and I was like, but okay, well. <laughs> Has it, so I, I, I tried. I, I tried to come at that citadel wall, like with, yeah. like through the front gate, over the top, but like tunnel under it. Yeah, because you don't want to be a dick, but you're fascinated. Yeah. No, no, and... I was super fascinated. Also, he was a pleasant guy, and I wish I could remember all the details. But like, I was saying, like, but, but like when you've seen, like, do you believe we went to the moon? He goes, Oh, we did go to the moon. That's also flat. <laughs> See that is see that's but fucking that, amazing. Is, that was like the so most flat Earth people from what I've read online. They think that they also are moon hoax people. I was saying, what do you think happens if you walk in a straight line? And he goes, "We don't know because the polar ice caps are there. That they're, they're there to keep us from falling off." I go, "So this I go, guy, what if we walk around the equator where there are no? He's like, there's no such thing. There's no such thing as that." But this guy, hardcore environmentalist. That's the crazy thing too, is that he's like oh, he, yeah, he he's, agrees. He's he's he's, he's a, we, 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 if 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 you're dumb enough, you're fucking liberal. Yeah. yeah they, if, that's great. We gotta. That's what we gotta we do. Can, we gotta we, like we, we gotta deny education to conservatives until they become flat earthers and believe that the ice caps are keeping their children dry. So. 
Like that, 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 or that, that, or I'm sorry, not dry, because they, what they believe is that if the polar ice caps melt, all the water will fall off the edge of the marble madness level that we live on. <laughs> so, so, so I asked him about what do you think creates gravity if not if not that swirling iron core, and he goes, and he, he had a. Not a good answer, but he had an answer. And it was preposterous and lunatic, but he, he laid it out nice and simple. He, he talked like this level-headed... As big no- turtle. <laughs> it's a big, just a big turtle. Gamera. Big, turtle. big, big so turtle. I said, all right. Big when, turtle when, keeping you, the water if you down. Believe that the, that, if you believe that we walked on the moon as human beings and we took photos, do you believe those photos? He goes, yeah. I go, how come you can only see part of that flat disk? How come you, you can only see Africa or you can only see a certain continent at once? And again... He said, well, that's the photos. That, that, he goes, that's, that's, a, that's a good question. Because here's, here's what, I'll tell you why. And then he started making this other weird shit that goes, the whole I go, when you go high enough on a plane or a spaceship that you can see the curvature of the earth, he goes, no, that's just because the lenses and the cameras are curved. Uh-huh. The, the, the Beastie Boys video theory. So then I said... <laughs> so what you, what you, what you want? What you want? <laughs> Intergalactic. So... So I said, and I laid down something that I, when I was like drunk and high and talking to Professor Brian Cox uh, about, I said, like, I said, like gravity and all this stuff, I said, explain what, it, we know what it does, but do we really know what it is? And he goes, well, it's like, or, or like space time and stuff like that. He goes, oh, he's, we're talking about space time. And he goes, gravity curves things in the same way that like if you're walking on a, on a curved surface like our planet, if you and I stood in a straight line along the equator, like a hundred, you know, kilometers apart, and we walked, we both had a compass, and we walked due north. We would eventually meet. We would eventually touch. We would think that we were both walking perfectly straight, and we were. And if you didn't know that the world was round, you would think that there was some weird f- force acting upon you. It's, no, it's just, it's just the simple curved nature of space-time and planets and a- a- anything that has curvature to it. So I was like, if you and I stood on, like if you and I... W- like if if, we, if I could come up with the money where you and I could like do this experiment where we drove like a hundred miles apart and had compasses and walked around, he goes, "Let's do it. Let's ah! do it." <laughs> he goes, I love that this guy's like, down for anything but research. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he'll get on a plane and like meet you. What made him? What made <laughs> but him? He won't crack a book. Did you ask him what made him like? Stop believing it, or did he never I, believe it? I think somebody turned him on to this idea that we've all been lied to the whole time. It's all been this big bunch of baloney. And I said, like, but like, what's the, like, who's putting that myth forward? And we're like, who's who's making money off that? Yeah, that one. This is this is the heroic one because that one's got it. You just making money. The, well, the big globe lobby. Like, 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 like he he's as far as I know, unless somebody tells me different, he's really not hurting anybody. And in fact, that whole polar ice cap thing. Like, that guy, that guy wants the polar ice caps to stay there as, more than we do. Um, and, and 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 so really, he's really not hurting anybody unless he thinks what no. keeps the Earth flat is hitting children I mean, or something. At but what, at what point? But 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 the crazy thing to me is like. That, unlike the climate change denying like kind of things or whatever, the vaccination crap, that, that like the, that, this is a guy who, like, he has a belief system that is actually incredibly difficult, I would think. Like, like you would, like, it's not, it's, like, it's beyond, like, like, he has to fucking protect that thing with a, with a, with a. The thing is, a, like, you couldn't, you couldn't say anything that, that seemed to me logical that ever got through like his force field of what he believed in. You think whenever he's like at a movie, you know, and the Universal logo comes out, he's like, <laughs> here we go again. Hey. Bullshit! Turn it off! Th- that's why he only goes to DreamWorks movies and that kid is sitting on a, on a flat. Right, right. right, yes, finally. Yeah. Universal. <laughs> he's, a flat, he's a flat movier. But there's a, it's a, <laughs> Here we it's go. That, it's a point yeah, where, okay. where, where close-mindedness... Not me, buddy. I'm not... Yeah. That guy's so... Take you have it to, down the road. Yep. You have to actually open your mind a bit to get that close-minded. Like, 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 like that's not... Like, he had to one day... Somebody had to say to him, there's some people who believe the Earth is flat, and he had to be like, you know, there has to be some story where he's like, yeah, but fuck those people, and then some 
spider bit him I mean, or something, and he was like, maybe not fuck those people. Like, he delivered one of their flat babies in the uh, in an elevator. I was like, it's human. Uh, but like, like, like uh, so, something we, happened to him what, where he was like, maybe the Earth is flat. When I got to my destination, I didn't get out of the car. We talked for maybe five, eight minutes. We, I, was, I was like, I have so many. I, uh, we have to keep talking. But he's like, 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 I'd love to. I'm like, keep the meter running. He's like, no, he also, I, I already turned it off. Like, let's, let's just talk about it. <laughs> That's he was another really cool. heroic I, thing. I, I, he, goes, he goes, what is this? Like, what's your hang up? I'm like, it's, it's like, you're a lunatic. And he's like, what? I'm like, I'm like, I take that back. You're not a lunatic. Like, but this, this is a lunatic idea for me. And he's like, he's like, you have been fed a bunch of lies. And like, like all, it's all a bunch of lies. I was like, but what, why? What's the, how do you start? Like, exactly. How do you? And was this Lyft or Uber? People are. Uh... This was Lyft. Okay. So there you go. I, so that means he's got a podcast. On the way there, I said, oh, on the way there, I'm like, we, we're using, are you using Google uh, Maps or, or Waze? When he goes, I'm using, I'm using Waze. I'm like, how do you think <laughs> GPS works? If it's flat, you can't. Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> What about what about no, you I mean, could go to the beach and see the ocean and you can see it curving just with your own naked eyes you can see the curve of the beach That's an optical illusion. Well, then so is anything. Like you could just say I'm well, you I guys would, can I, hang out. You I, guys could hang out. I would respond to that and say, "Well, if the earth is round, how come everything seems so flat?" Like the answer is just I would just say, like, "But I get that, but if you could see it curving like I don't know." Yeah, but I can see it flatting. <laughs> And the answer is, well, it's a matter of scale, and it's a different shit happens. I want to. I wish. I want to get in there, man. I want to be. I want to be one. There, I want to be a doomsday I, popper and a flat out, earther. I, I, I was like, a couple things. There was one. I was like, okay, if the Earth is flat, on a clear day, if we had a really good telescope, wouldn't we be able to see Mount Everest and everything else, like, like the Eiffel Tower? Like, like he's like, no. He, like, he had all this stuff. It was, it was crazy. Clouds. My, my biggest. My biggest. Regret about this whole thing is that right when he got out of the car, I was like, "Why didn't yeah. I invite him on Harmon Town? Yeah, because it would have been awesome." And but not not to mock him. Not no, of course not. We would have fucking. I, I'd I, mock we, him. We would have. <laughs> <laughs> but you wouldn't mock him. You would question him. That shit's dumb, man. But you wouldn't. You wouldn't bully him. There's no need. You wouldn't. You would. You would. I don't know. You would question I think him. I'd, you can't just say, "Oh, you can't just have an answer." I could come up with like, you could come up with lie answers for anything and not, you know, have to prove Example. anything. Okay, well, just <laughs> well, uh, let's make Spencer be a uh, okay, a, sure, uh, uh, a tr- tr- ho- hollow earther. All right. <laughs> hey, uh, if if the Earth is hollow, how come uh, there are uh, holes? Because it spins. <laughs> What? Uh, uh, it keeps the shape that way. <laughs> uh, 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 when you oh wait, well I don't. I want to. I'm supposed to poke holes, right? Like I'm supposed to like. I don't know what the exercise became. <laughs> you, you're trying to ask hard hitting, right? Um, I'm trying de- to disprove debunking. Hollow Earth yeah. theory. Uh, well, I don't really know anything in common day that like, I can point at that. that, that That's indicates. because the government. All right. <laughs> See, uh, it's easy. You could just say anything. <laughs> right, Unless someone has like a ruler or something, you can't go out and disprove it. It's true. We we blew it. I blew it by not. Do you want right. how about Sasquatch? Do you want something else? Let's sure, sure, sure. Hey, how come we haven't found uh, uh, Sasquatch skeletons? Because they've been hiding them. <laughs> Who's they? The Sasquatches. Why are they hiding them? Because that's literally all they do is hide and hide things. <laughs> they hide skeletons They're and other stuff? They're not called Sas paraders. <laughs> yeah. They hide the skeletons. Where? Um, in the beach. <laughs> the beach? Why yeah. The, why the beach? Because people think they're whale bones. <laughs> it's fucking easy. You just say anything. All right, all right. Spencer. Let's have Spencer pretend he's someone who's, who, who believes in the uh, electoral system of the United States. <laughs> so how, how, come, how, how come if I live in New York, uh, where 9-11 happened, my vote counts for way less than if I live in Wyoming? Because every state gets to determine that. Well, how come the, the how come we can't just use the technology to pick the president now? You could. You just have to vote to make that happen. 
That's the biggest argument about the Electoral College. It's like, oh, it's broken, then fucking vote for it, assholes. It's stupid. How come all the presidents are either rich people, politicians, or people that knew rich people or politicians? Because that's what it takes. <laughs> yeah. That's the system that the being... forefathers wanted. <laughs> they didn't just want anyone to be a uh, president. It's true, they did. That's true. Yeah, I mean, if anyone was president, uh, a disaster could happen. You, you, they, they'd just pick some douchebag from a reality show in pizza commercials. <laughs> like, 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 I, would, I, would, I mean, God, mob rule can't happen or else. <laughs> I love it. I love what's happening. It's really we're, not, we're not celebrating the total collapse of the Republican Party. We're just being afraid that Trump's going to get elected. But we're not noticing that the fucking Republican Party... I don't Party think it's the collapse of anything. I think, it's, I think it's, it's us blossoming into a weird, shitty flower that was always coming along. It's yes! kind of... It's kind of neat. I, I said a lot of crappy stuff about the bipartisan system as if it was always going to continue and there was no way for it to ever change. But, what, what, you know, it's not necessarily going to make things better, but at least we're looking at like a kind of – it's definitely a shaky year for the bipartisan system. They still have the legislature, but, though. They still got that legislature. Yeah, where the shit really happens. That's and the, the trick. Uh, That's what they've realized. They think that if they lose the, uh, the nomination, they can still win back legislation and still win that way. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, all right. I really don't have a lot more. That's that's getting scary. Uh, what's going on in Venezuela? I don't know. Okay. Uh, seems seems rough. Uh, what, what do you got? What do you think is going on in Venezuela? Some kind of horrible uh, apocalyptic uh, economic and health collapse. Uh, oh, okay. Of their entire system. Like I, 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 there's like a state of uh, emergency. Dan, uh, that's what they want you to think. <laughs> Follow the money. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, 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 yeah, I don't know what's going on in Venezuela. I don't think they're listening. I think I, th- I think something horrible has happened where they're like they're in the dark ages. Is anybody like, here legitimately into? Uh, like, don't don't come up just because you're, like you want to be on stage. Is anybody here like into something like flat Earth, hollow Earth, chemtrails, like stuff like that? Like, really, is a firm ass believer. A firm uh, ass. A believer. firm ass. <laughs> If you believe in nice, firm ass, you believe, but you get a nice tight ass. It just seems like a loaded thing. Like, like yeah, somebody's gonna go. Oh, I, I, if I squint real hard, I can be into Bigfoot. And then they come up and they're like, "So Bigfoot?" And we're like, "Really, Bigfoot?" And they're like, "Okay, maybe medium-sized foot." And we're like, "Yeah." <laughs> I'm proud of you guys for not volunteering. Thank you. Uh, but I'm proud of you, Jeff, for asking, though. <laughs> But also, I have nothing to talk about. So thank you for trying. The, uh, oh, I, I, I let uh, you okay. down with hey. I, I let you down with Sam Elliott. I'm let's, trying to help. Let's now. enter the. Uh, this is a new segment. It's called scraping the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> let me give you some. Here. You got a barrel full of content, and you dip a ladle in. And nothing comes out. So you go lower. Okay. Uh, this, is, this is Scraping the Bottom of the Barrel, brought to you by Shrub's Mom's Pussy. So gross. When you want someone's mama's pussy, you need more than the worst. You need the best. And if you can't get that, go to Shrub's Mama. <laughs> what, are, what are we doing? It's just not funny. I don't. It's just not funny. It's not that funny. It's, it's kind of cheap. It's not that funny. Yeah, I, it's not that funny. Well, I agree technically as a as a comedic craftsman, but at the same time, your attempt to high road me is. Yeah, I just don't think it's that funny. It's not that funny. It's just not uh, funny. All right. So all right, and here's a here's a, the, a, a, a we're still in the segment called scraping the bottom of the barrel. The, this is a subsection of that called uh, things I could easily look up and have the answer to in one minute, but decided to write down and then ask on stage. All right, H- how many you got? One. Uh. <laughs> Let's start with number one. This is this is the this is the bottom of the bottom of the barrel. Bottom of the barrel in the barrel. Okay, you got a barrel. Where does the word surcharge come from? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Because if you say service charge, I'm going to ask you 
Why is it no, called S U R? Because it's. I'm going to guess because it's the bottom of the thing. It's a, it's a it's a charge they add at the bottom after all the things are tallied. Up. What's the sir? What's a, sir is is a. Is a what, wait, yeah, sorry, I heard too much at once. What? what? Latin for okay, well, Latin for under bottom. Well, get, well, what country is this oh, again? Like, like, like uh, sur- surreptitious. The country maybe? of Latin. God, I hate him. I hate him so much. I don't think so. Last time I checked, this was America. <laughs> is it the same Latin? Root? Your phone died. You can't use that. Your phone is dead. You're not allowed Stop. to use that as a bailout mechanism. Stop. Stop it. <laughs> Stop. Do you want me to charge your phone so you can use that? Would you really? Yeah. I need to get home. I don't... <laughs> yeah, get him home. <laughs> I think that text message thing really got under your dander. Are we allowed to know about this Chris Pratt meeting or what was going on there? It's just hanging is out. Is he going to be a Lego? <laughs> Obviously, it was just like Chris Pratt was like, what's taking so long with the Lego movie? You know? Like, what's going on? Should I even do the voice? Maybe someone else should do the voice of the Legos. And, then, and they're like, well, why don't you go eat with Shrub? And then he's like, so anyways, um, can I get some more cantaloupe? Uh, the Legos are going to be on a pirate ship this time. And he's like, okay. Because I can't hear the sound of you over the 800 million movies I should be doing right now. Like, if each of my pecs did one movie... That'd be two movies, but. <laughs> uh, what, what, like, tell, t- talk to me about Legos. Like, tell me. And you're like, wow, they snap together. And uh, 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 can I get another cantaloupe? <laughs> they're, not ca- they're not called Legos. <laughs> Company's called Lego. I don't care. You're never going to be friends with anybody cooler than me, so. It sounds like he had brunch with one. That doesn't make a friendship. That was my point. He's not friends with him. It's just a brunch. Uh, I, think you're, I think you're terrified that maybe one day he will be, find somebody cooler than you. In order for me to be terrified of that, I, there'd have to be something terrifying happening. What? Are you saying Rob's incapable of finding somebody cooler than you? I'm just... Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> So is it like sir, sir, like surreptitious? No, like 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 sir, surname, surname. surname. Oh, on, a, yeah, oh, on top of, like why did they sir. just say that? Oh, it's like sur la table. Yeah, yeah, you're on the like table. On top of. I, I always thought it was under. The, I, I grew up in LA and speaking Spanish. Like, under the table. That's like when you're drunk. <laughs> Well, like I'm be glad I asked. I should have looked it up, but I'm glad I asked. That's a, that's a great. Okay, I have no more of those. All right. And we got about an well, about 50 minutes left. So I also heard that. What's going on in Venezuela? Speaking of the French and and and, uh, and us using their language, uh, supposedly the, the expression "that's the ticket." Like, yeah, that's the ticket. It comes from uh, a bastardization of "that's etiquette," French. They're like, that's etiquette. Like, that's the way you do it. And isn't etiquette based on the word ticket? Oh, sorry, I interrupted your take. No, no, no. <laughs> isn't, isn't etiquette based on the word ticket because they like would put up manner signs like up at places and they'd be tickets? It's, well, it's not funny in any way. Barely entertaining. Are you trying to flat earth this right now? No, no. That'd be amazing if you if you just it's a big loop. Anybody it, see this Civil War land Civil War man show? Yeah. Ever seen? Yeah. Since- What's it? Civil War man? You see the Civil War man? Underoos. Did, didn't, didn't, did, How, did we find out why he's calling him Underoos? No. <laughs> didn't d- Dan and Rob, didn't you write a movie called Civil War Land? Or, yeah, but that's... It wasn't our... Yeah. Uh, it, yeah. uh, <laughs> Who's Civil War man in the movie? John. You Rob, you bring go- out, okay, let's. Who who considers himself the uh, like 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 sort of uh, you're 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 a solid yeah 
Feet, Here we go. Feet on the earth, like like yeah. like like uh, you you went to see Civil War and uh, and you and you liked it and you're a big Marvel guy and like you just kind of here. Right. There's no sor- no shortage. I think no the shortage. hand that went up first was over here. Why don't you, you, you you come up? Are you willing to come up? I I, just, I forgot to ask. Are you willing to come up? All right. All so right. we got a Civil War movie. What, you, what is your name, sir? Uh, ben. Ben. Yeah. Nice ben. to meet you, Ben. It's ben. All right, so no spoilers. A lot Tell of us the seen entire it. movie. <laughs> but there probably aren't any spoilers to have, right? I mean, they're just they're just superheroes. They're they super in the beginning. They they stay does relatively he, does super. It, is he called Underoos in the beginning of the movie, and then he and he goes, actually, it's Spider Man. <laughs> And I go, oh, I'm sorry. I, I must have, while the car was driving by, I heard underoos. That's so weird. You're, you're spe- everybody is, sp- I'm so embarrassed. I got to change my phone now. <laughs> Your name in the phone. All right, he's hung up on the underoos thing. Leading, I am, uh, well, I, I am. I it's weird. It. Yeah, and, then, sure. and then some kids are playing with a Captain America toy while Black Panther's running through the garage, right? Wait, what? When were they were playing with a toy? You know when they're running through the garage, Black Panther. It's in the trailer. Yeah, I saw. I'm that. assuming that that scene is still in the movie, right? <laughs> okay, so Black Panther and Captain America are running through the garage, and then there's like a family in a in a minivan or whatever. The mom and dad are talking or something like that. I, well, but why? But Rob, why wouldn't there be toys in a universe where the people actually existed when they're? I guess they have firefighters. Wait, the firefighter toys? Is that what you're saying? Mm-hmm. You're, you're saying that because we don't have firefighter action figures, which we no, do. No, no, no. I'm saying that oh, okay. I'm agreeing yeah. with you. So, w- okay. Okay. Well, that's been around since the 80s, the idea that people, like, that the... Army super, men? That, well, that, no, that's the meta concept of, like, oh, if there's a... In a sequel, like, like oh, the like people exist men. in the real world, and then they have the toys, the merchandising. I don't remember ever seeing that. It happens in like every fucking like name too. I don't know, man. Like it, <laughs> I can't. Okay, I mean, I, can, I know I can name one, but there would be like a five minute gap, and everyone would get up and leave. Then, then right, don't. Ben, then don't. It's Ben. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So a good movie, Civil War. Oh yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. I've seen it twice now. Whose Although, side are you on? <laughs> Well, I'm always on the side of Captain America because he generally has the most like straightforward logic. Like uh, Iron Man is a little bit more selfish, you know. He's he's out for a lot more his own agenda type of thing. <laughs> so yeah, he agrees. But uh, uh, I have to say, the the first time I saw um, Civil War, I saw it in this thing a 4DX. Have you guys? No, what's 4DX? Okay, so it's this thing that they're trying to, uh, like, they're trying to do, like, the, you know, the Dolby Atmos and all that kind mm-hmm. of stuff. But in this, they have chairs that literally, like, move with the movie, like, all the way around. Like, like not just, like, just a little bit. What? Where was it? <laughs> around, like, up and down. No, where was the place? <laughs> no, 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 where did I go? So, someone no, said, where like, did you go? The, the, and he the, said, the around. Oh, my God. Cinema. The, he just went, <laughs> made, 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 made. It was at the Regal Cinema. Um, but uh, it's it's this. No, where did the chairs move? Did it go left and right? I'm sorry. Did they go? Did they shake or what? I, I don't know the address. <laughs> but they, they, they shake and move. But the the worst part of it is like that. So they also blow smoke in your face and water and shit. And then when people, sounds like five when people get punched, they literally punch you in the. Wait, back. shut up. No, I'm not even joking. This is how you saw the movie, or what are you? That's how I sub- saw the movie. What? Yeah. What, they're just uh, physically abusing people? It's like a <laughs> carnival ride? It's the worst thing ever. I thought it would be cool, but it wasn't. Wait, human beings So that's why you went to see it twice, because you were like, how about not <laughs> no, knocking my ass around? Wait, and I'll I, just have some I, popcorn. I, I enjoyed hang. it a lot more the second time. Okay. Hold up, Ben. Every, everybody in the theater gets a punch in the back by another human being? It's by the uh, chair. No, it's the chair. It's, the it's chair all mechanical. Oh, I think it's a dude that works there named Douglas. It, comes yeah, up and, no, the, the, the right. people work for the theater like oh, okay. sticks. Yeah, so you're you. getting like the, the Bugs Life treatment where there's, you know. But you don't yeah, really yeah. mean. Oh, yeah, exactly like that. Anyway. So at, at, a, at a point where, you, where it's actually kidney throttling you, like, is it is it really literally like a character in the movie is getting punched? Or is it like we're going off a cliff or. Well, like that something exploded. It, uh, it, it, it happens for a bunch of different things. Like, uh, is there any fucking in the movie? <laughs> I wish you could tell. No, there isn't. No, no not not. Uh, it's it's a, it's a, it's a dis- 
it's a Disney movie, so. Okay. Yeah. By the way, he uh, he calls him underoos because you know it's like he's wearing like his stuff is made out of underpants. But he made that. That would be stupid. I, if that's I, what I, it was. He doesn't Dude. make it though. Iron, Iron Man made his suit you, for him. You that's what I'm saying. Don't so now he's you he's don't calling understand. him out by the under. That's what I was like if under, I gave you a t-shirt and I, I was like, hey, t-shirt, you <laughs> motherfucker. Yes. It's like that's your T-shirt. You put that on me so you can I, I, insult me with it. That's, yeah. ter- that's it, terrible. That's like a Monopoly guy, but no, no, no. under under ruse is a product, yeah. right? And he's calling it under ruse. Under ruse is a product that was in the late seventies that would have like Spider-Man yeah. symbol on it and Batman symbol on it, and he's calling him under ruse. Yeah, right. Well, uh, that's Iron Man's style. He he like gives everyone a nickname. He at one point he calls. I dude, I fucking know <laughs> that. Yeah, but Shrab, what are you? Uh, is I, 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 is, is Iron Man saying what? that? Because like, uh, he's referencing a thing that went out of style like decades ago. Yeah, that's how long. And known he's... for like Spider Man underwear, so he's had merchandising since the seventies. No, no oh, oh, you're, you're, you're talking about. You're... The, oh, so you're saying that Spider Man? You're thinking that he's time referencing Spider Man like his own like branding. His brand of underoos right. is what he's, he's saying. He's looking you're, at him when he's but talking you're connecting to him, right? a dot there that I don't think is necessary. It's, it's like like not all underoos are were Spider Man underoos. Yeah. 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 So like, there's Batman under. So he's going. <laughs> he's like Long John's. Ah, because there's Batman underoos. Yeah. Spider Man underoos. No. Because you got a bat on your chest and you're no, wearing it's a like, gray hey, shirt. Tights. Hey, tights. Hey, man who's wearing tights. That, hey, asshole. That it's, I understand. It's like that, but it's well, under roots. Uh, then when he doesn't harass make sense. Like Captain America all it the makes time sense. he's wearing tights. No, it doesn't. You're just connecting a dot that they're not connecting for that reason. It doesn't make sense. It does. No, it doesn't. It makes sense. Hollow Earth. Are you gonna go? Are you gonna go see it in the in the in the movie the theater thing? Do you wanna Do you wanna go watch it with me? Or, if the, if you take the the seat that punches you in the kidney, <laughs> I don't want to get. I don't want to. <laughs> we, we we can just go see it regularly, right? Yeah, I don't yeah. have go to have see, smoke uh, blown in the, my face. My my favorite is just seeing it in AMC Prime because it's really comfy seats, and then like they have the Dolby. Atmos, and you get delivery which is overnight. Technology for me. What? That's Amazon Prime. <laughs> hey, you know the guys that directed that movie? They used to direct my show, Community. Oh really? Yeah, you know yeah. that they, you know they got that like, job that way. They you know showed the, a... the paintball episode. I don't, I don't know why I'm angry. <laughs> <laughs> they reference Good community. Like, yeah. Where's my? Give, give me a superhero. There's a community reference in Civil War. It, well, it, you mean Dean uh, Jim Rash is in it? Yeah, yeah. He is oh, the yeah, reference. That awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it, was, it was a very brief cameo, and I was like, oh my god. I launch a lot of stars, kid. <laughs> if you underoos, underoos are a t-shirt and briefs. There's no leggings, there's no armings, there's no gloves, there's no hood, there's t-shirt and briefs. And it's sometimes Wonder Woman, Batman, Spider-Man was a popular one. Doesn't make sense. Underoos. I'm sorry, it doesn't make sense. I will say it was a weird area, but I also can't say I could put my money where my mouth is as far as what Tony Stark should yell out when calling to Spider-Man. Spider-Man! <laughs> It's on the cover of his comic book that apparently probably exists in this universe too. No, he does. He does like question his name. Why is his eye squint? Oh, it, it's it, the just, robot. Yeah, it, uh, Tony Stark made his suit. He custom made it, and um, uh, the, there's a part where he's talking about like the goggles that he that he wears, and like they're really like uh, they really obscure your vision, but because his senses are so heightened, they actually help him see better. So I believe Tony Stark made them so that they adjust to so his they could eyes squint then. to give yeah. him an expression. So yeah. is and, he uh, and that okay. is he, so is, is this version of Spider Man? Is he web? Sh- is, does he have web yeah, shooters? Yeah, he has web shooters. Yeah. He made the the, the stuff himself. Hmm. So Peter Parker in this w- version of the Marvel Universe is, uh, in addition to getting bit by a radioactive spider, also ha- is so smart that he can make web shooters. Yeah, and that's what actually what makes uh, their uh, their relationship really work well. In the because mo- they're both geniuses. Yeah, exactly. Except yeah. one of them is a superhero because he's a genius. The other one is a superhero because he's a genius and also got bit by a spider. <laughs> <laughs> here's a, here's another really, really, thing. Here's I, another thing. So he got bit by a spider and he got all the powers of a spider he can crawl up walls <laughs> he, he's super strong he can be telepathic but he can't shoot webs right and also what the spider also the spider's up he's like, how come i can walk on walls and can know what people and when danger is coming ah typical spider shit <laughs> i'm connecting this dot to that spider that bit me 
And as such, I'm going to use my previously untapped ability to create military grade weaponry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, that was like that was the, the comic book. It was fine, but I really, I'm just saying, like, I thought that was it's like like in this world where the movie industry takes comic book properties that we love and kind of like demystifies them and like tries to jerk itself off for making everything real. That's nanobots. That's not just a magical comet. That's why you're made of stone and she can turn invisible. It's a, it's like nano nanotechnology. Nano, da, da, da. But but the but one of the rare instances of, of, of I thought was you know the decision to make Peter Parker just a puberty myth and have him have like that's he mutated and he's shooting like fucking shit out of his wrists. I thought Makes that was sense. cool. Makes sense. Anyways, well, that, that's that all comes from the movies, I believe, right? The the, the uh, um, what's his name? Yeah, Tobey Maguire. That's movies. what I'm saying. Yeah, no, yeah. no, I'm I'm being an old man and saying like I love I love the old Tobey Maguire Spider Man. <laughs> that's what I, that's what I'm doing. I'm, yeah. sa- I'm saying like, I thought that was a cool instance. I wasn't like jumping up and going in the comic book. He invents uh you know like weird like like the stuff with the tensile strength of steel that you could shoot like the idea that a kid could do that no. and then also that's the kid that got bit by a radioactive spider. Is it true that he could shoot out of his feet too? <laughs> <laughs> in this one, <laughs> if he built a machine for it, they never they never expressed that in, at any point. Right, he might be able to shoot one out of his out of hey, his ben, ass. Who, who's your favorite? Who's, oh, do you have a come favorite? Come on. Uh, sorry, I missed hashtag hot farts. Come on. I missed. I missed off. Come on. Oh, oh, spiders ben. do it though. Oh, Ben. Oh, Ben. Come on. Oh, Ben. Maybe Spider-Man got bit by a spider that, that doesn't actually create silk. Do all, do all spiders uh, spin silk? No, but you're, Probably. you're misunderstanding. Tarantulas, I, I don't think. I'm, I'm saying that... I'm not going to keep... It's a, it's a, I'm, I'm saying that I thought it was a clean, nice simplification to say, yeah. why don't you get all the powers from the spider bite? Right, that's not, great. Not have to have one. In comic book... In that age of comic books, it was like fine. It was like like that's the point of comic books was like it was like punk rock to be like like okay. And then he made these things and he doesn't think. When Tony Stark is seeing Spider Man, is the first time he's ever, they've ever met. Uh, he's yeah, been watching him uh, but, closely, but so this, this is the first time they met in person. So this, is or- this is the origin. It's really kind of creepy if you think about it. It's the origin of Spider Man, then, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, well, yeah. So, so Tony Stark is aware of a product called Underoos, but didn't know that Spider-Man was one of the lions in the 70s. Of, 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 oh, of, my God. I, I think they're going... It, it, it's like a slightly alternate universe like if, uh, uh, where, like, the superheroes... This is the first time they've ever existed, but, like, the all, like, the products and things that we, like, know and care about still, like, have happened. Oh, okay. Just without, like, branding of those characters. The, uh, a, a person has has volunteered that DC Comics exists in the well, yeah, because there's the well, and vice versa, right? Because there's the joke of, uh, oh, I'm sorry, no, not vice versa. The Toby Maguire movie when she says, "Well, you're not Superman, right? You're not okay." Anyways, yeah. uh, the uh, the the uh, what's your favorite? Who's your favorite guy? Tony Stark. <laughs> Putting words in my mouth. Uh, yeah, no, I, I mean, like honestly. Iron Man is the most fun to watch, I think. But uh, uh, Captain America has the best movies. Why do you think it is that... Well, yeah. Uh, why, why do you think it is that... Like, like, why, why, so if you look at uh, Batman as folklore, like he's a guy who was born rich. Uh, he had tragedy befall him. He, it's like, he's a philanthropist. He's a playboy. He's a billionaire. He uses his money to make a bunch of shit. It's like the obvious parallels. Iron Man, like that's the big thing. Marvel, like... Even though he's not the most super, what, what do you do? You do you have you thought about that? Do you do, do you think why, why do you think the why do we like the superhero characters that we like in America? What what? It's okay if you haven't thought about it. I don't. I, oh yeah, no, I, I've totally thought about this, uh, especially because like a, a lot of people like Batman uh, the best, and Iron Man is obviously like a, a, a very like close equivalent. But I think the, one of the reasons why like bat, people like Batman better is because he's like a lot darker and like has a lot more like intrigue in his past. But we like the guys who aren't super. Even yeah. though, so from DC even to Marvel, it's like we, we like the not decidedly non super superheroes. Like the superhero got invented, but then we settled into well, I like I like this, but we can't we we, we can't have I I I, I dated a, a a victim that uh, uh, was uh, had a, getting her PhD. Nobody even laughed because they're like, yes, everyone you date is a victim. <laughs> 
Yes. I dated a young lady who uh, uh, who was full of light when I met her, and uh, and was getting her master, had her master's, was getting her PhD in media studies, and she indoctrinated me into this concept of American mythology being having this really specific slant on hero mythology, where we like we can't decide between the outlaw hero and the righteous hero. So in Deadwood, that Swearingen and Timothy Olyphant uh, uh, character, I can't remember. I tell you, my brain is Swiss cheese because I'm more of an outlaw hero. But it's like we we need our we love. Love, we love our Han Solo with our Bullock. Luke Skywalker. Like we, it's like caviar on the cracker. Like we want to. So, it's, but so what I can't figure out is, is is that is that why we love in comic book mythology? Sure, we love the fantasy of a guy getting really so mad he can turn green and then he can fucking do all this shit that we want to do at the bank. But they can't make a good Hulk movie. But they like can't make indi- a good individual. movie out of it because what we really like ultimately the thing that passes hands through all these studios and things we like we like rich people. Because we don't want to be, we don't want to be socialists, for God's sake. <laughs> like we, we want to, it's a, we, we like rich dudes that are playboys, but then that also decide, what am I doing with my life? I'm gonna, I should be out there fighting for truth and justice, and they use all their money to make like, like stuff, and then they beat people up. So it, because we don't want to let go of the American dream, which is that one day we're gonna be Bruce Wayne. Yeah, well, it's still putting someone above you, like a god type figure. But it's also saying like, but it's a fantasy fulfillment. We don't want to have a we, when we when we do fantasy fulfillment. We don't we don't we don't imagine ourselves as John Henry. Like like we don't go like I want to race a steam engine and then die trying. <laughs> like, like like that's my guy. You know who I love? Jesus Christ. Woke up one morning, said I'm going to cause it like I see it. Got nailed to a tree. <laughs> I love him. I got him on all my T-shirts. I, it's a, but it's like it's like Batman. He's like it goes and breaks your spine because his parents got killed in an alley, and he's like, "Why me?" And we're like, "That's my man." Be, and I think I I do I do I do think it's because it's it's they have to be rich because not only does that make it feasible for them to do the things that they do, but also we have a fixation in our country where we're like. We don't want to fetishize the poor. We want to believe. We don't want to give up on the idea that we're we're entitled to become rich. Yeah, the capitalism and, capitalism works. <laughs> like, like, so 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 if there was like a superhero comic that was like poor man and and it was like like like, like one day his parents got killed from malnutrition and, <laughs> and, and 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 he decided to put a trash can lid on his chest and grab a heavy object. And go out and fight the real injustice, property. And, and, and we would all be like, "No, that's terrorism. That's it terrible." Like, it sounds like a Bernie Sanders campaign commercial. <laughs> I'm trying, there's a guy with a Bernie shirt there. I'm, I'm playing to my. To, why, to, to why, look do you, why do you think people like Batman over Iron Man? Wait, do they? That's what he said. Just oh, now. What, no, you never said that, Ben. Don't let him put words in your mouth. <laughs> Did, did, I mean, did, did I kind he? of did, but did I mean, Batman. Well, Batman's I, I hear older. more people talk about Batman than than Iron Man, it's, uh, but especially like the comic book version of Batman, because the comic book version, uh, at least up until recently, was more interesting. Uh, uh, the version of Batman than it, the comic book version of Iron Man because he was just kind of a rich guy and he, he didn't have like Iron Man was like waiting in the wings I always loved him I, I, I loved him before uh, uh, and then and, and I swear to God I swear to God he was my Pixies uh, <laughs> and, then, and, then, but then, and then Robert Downey Jr. was cast and it was yeah. like holy shit it, it was also like it, it kind of coincided with like like, like we were I, I, well people my age were like rooting for Robert Downey Jr. in a meta sense it was like it's a perfect like coalition or whatever you call it uh, co- co- something Thing, something with the word co in front of it. Uh, 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 but it was like, and, and, and he did great. But, but that was a recent thing. Batman yeah. was like, he was handed through different studios and television shows and mediums, and he just kept enduring yeah. because all he really does is, well, I mean, the, the, the things that kept accruing as that myth was handed uh, through different studios are the things that popped for us. Like, like, like it was. It was weird that the Batmobile was part of this mythology and not part of that. And like, but whatever sticks, it sticks. And then I don't. I don't I'm so. I'm boring myself. <laughs> Batman's older. He's more like Paul Bunyan. He's closer to being folklore mythology. Yeah, yeah. Iron Man is like a straight handoff from from a comic book property to cinematic property where they nailed it and now we're really into him. Are there, but really I, I, what he is is he's Marvel's Batman. I'm not a comic book guy at all. Is, are there any like awesome like women like superheroes that, that, that you... No. <laughs> yeah, there is. 
Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Not a single one. Are, are you flat earthing my, my question right now? <laughs> no, no, no. There just aren't any women superheroes. No, there are. Are there, are there no, ones? No. Well, uh, ben, there, t- ben says yes. Yeah, well, the. <laughs> it's Wonder Man. <laughs> Wonder Wonder Woman, obviously. Um, do, you, do, you have the, a favorite, do you have a favorite? Do you have a favorite woman? Big Red. Jean Grey. <laughs> Jean, Jean Grey. <laughs> no, that, uh, my, my I like Big Red because the, uh, the 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 cinnamon flavor was so powerful. I yeah. I, I like She Hulk actually. She's the, the she's the lady version of of the Hulk. I, I always thought she was and cool. a lawyer. And, yeah, she's a lawyer and she shows up as the Hulk. <laughs> Right, she, she, she holds out in order to defend supervillains, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, not not supervillains, but like, like uh, maybe she does. I don't know. I've never read the ones where she shows up as the lawyer. All I know is that she like uh, uh, she got the powers because she was uh, uh, the Hulk's cousin, I think. Uh, <laughs> and, uh. and, <laughs> and she got into a horrible car accident and she could only live because um, uh, Bruce Banner was the one who had the correct blood type. So he yep. donated his yeah. blood. And she she got the powers and then was um, uh, she she um, she she liked it she she's like she's okay with being the Hulk. <laughs> but she, was, it, she she was already a lawyer before this happened, or did she become, yeah. did she go to the past the bar as the Hulk? <laughs> <laughs> she went. If it's not already comic book line, I would love that. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna try to. Uh, okay. So, uh, Ben, anything you're plugging? You got a new uh, tap dance uh, special coming up for uh, I, I a book you've do. written? I actually do. I actually do. I'm working on my, my thesis project uh, for school. You don't need to plug those. That's I, But I've got an Indiegogo for it, and no one's donating to <laughs> oh, it. Wait, no. Wait, 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 I don't understand. Your thesis you needs it's, funding? Yeah. Have, have a, we it, really gotten that bad? <laughs> I, like, a, I thought we just eliminated yes. arts education yes. from grade schools. I didn't know, I didn't know college kids were now going, I, I, need, I want to write a thesis about... <laughs> Well, it's, it's, it's going a, on a really expensive vacation. <laughs> it's a it, it's a short film. It's a, ah. a I'm making a it's a, a modern day western. Okay, so you have an Indiegogo. Well, tell them about it and then let them go check it out. Yeah, sure. Uh, it's uh, the project is called Guns Don't Lie. It's a modern day western where these two guys like who like uh, like uh, idolize the western. <laughs> Who, who idolize the like the whole Western mythos and everything, dress up as cowboys and pull off a train robbery, and then modern technology and stuff gets in the way. All right. I, I, I would you watch can it. Find I, it on the uh, Indiegogo. Just type in Guns Don't Lie. Guns Don't Lie. All right. Thank you, Ben, for... Thank you. Ben also... Did you notice a Ben around his wrists? I was going to uh... ask. Ben, you have a series of... Well, it's too late now. You have a lot of... like look, look like... Band bracelets, like you got. Would you, you come back? F- well, I'd like. I'd rather speculate about it. I think he's so young that he's he's been to that many places in the last week. Is that, are they all from clubs, bars, like bands, things like that? Uh, uh, Not a scissors convention, that's for sure. <laughs> oh. Shots fired. Yeah. All right. Well, well, what I was gonna suggest is like, because I was uh, zeroing in, like, what if we created a? Because uh, I figure if a guy's a billionaire, right. and then he has like technology and he uses it to fight crime, and gets bit by something. No, no. you're wrong. No, take the bite away. The gets hit by something. <laughs> We could create a new uh, superhero mythologies and cash in, but uh, also that's just—I mean, that's just me trying to fill. I got Game of Thrones to watch. We could cut it early. Do, do you know the only comic uh, book that I ever read cover to cover? Scud. Yeah. Dan, did you ever read Scud uh, cover to cover? What no, was I, what was the deal with that bad guy in the beginning? Whatever happens to him, he Spider doesn't really God. come back. Yeah, he came back in the last four. What happened? Got his legs cut off. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Fucked with Ben Ben Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great comic series. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, any of you guys uh, follow the Vine uh, account? Uh, what is it? Amazing talent. 
amazing talent. Shrub sends me all these. Shrub sends me these vines. Anybody see? Uh, do, uh, it's I'm always swiping talent. through, and it's all, I can't believe the amount of people that this planet is generating that are falling. At, 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 like it's amazing. Like it's it's heaven. It's a vine is amazing. I fully support it. You could swipe through, and it's just people getting hit with things and falling. I don't like the. I don't like. We don't like the. You know, if it yeah. looks like they really got hurt. I but, don't like but, those but, either. Uh, Nothing's funnier than people falling down and not getting hurt. People. I, I don't like when they actually get hurt. Like if you ever like. When I was at USC, I was sitting on, like, on the grass reading a book, and it was kind of a lazy day, like school wasn't in session, and I heard this, like, footsteps that sounded like high heels, and I look up, and there's this young, young girl, like, like, with a lot of books, and she's just, like, trucking down the cobblestones at USC, and she's mo- really moving, she got to be somewhere, and she just hit the ground like a mousetrap closer, <laughs> and books were everywhere, I was like, oh, like, like, do I have to call 911? Like, they should, like I, 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 was getting, I was getting up to go see if she needed any help. But she got up and she was fine. She dusted herself off, and I was like, "Ah!" <laughs> as you, as Adults uh, wiping out is the best. I don't know how to like like I get a vine from Shrub, and then it's always some crazy uh, thing, and then <laughs> crazy th- I, uh, Okay, and I, I I swipe th- if I swipe in different directions, I get different results. But I don't know what's happening. I feel like I'm I'm in a dungeon crawler like 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 game where I'm just like swiping and then like going. I don't like how come, and I don't understand why if the account is like. Uh, Latino people uh, be like, and then, and, then, and then it's like, but it's just dogs falling downstairs, or like a guy farting at an ear of corn, and it's like that, that, there's nothing Latino happening. But 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 like that account, I guess maybe got popular, and it was like people we need to aggregate. Uh, the I, I don't know, but I, and I'm swiping, and I don't know what I'm following and what I'm browsing. But I know I love Vine. But I uh, the, but the weird thing is that like most of them are comedically based. Most of them are based on the six second kind of orgasm of like. You're watching something, and then something's going to happen. Uh, but then, so, like a, a certain percentage of them are like, it, there's this one that's like, I think it's called Amazing Talent or something like that, and it's just, it's mostly just teenage girls uh, it's, it's singing. But it's, there's no irony. They don't, a bas- you keep waiting for a basketball to fly in <laughs> and clobber them because you're, you're like in this vine uh, traumatic stress disorder mode. And you're like, like wait, wait. And then, so it's, then it's just a girl singing kind of well for six seconds. Like, like, like oh, yeah, I know. Well, that's not a good example. That doesn't... <laughs> They, they sing well, but then the captions are just like, oh, she sings so well. But then it's like, they just keep popping up, and it's like, I, I realized today, I think, I think about 40% of the public uh, sings well, and I don't, think it's a, I don't think we can call it a talent anymore. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I think it's, I think it's, it's like being double-jointed, or, uh, or, or, or people like me who like the smell of skunk. Like... <laughs> I, th- I think just like forty percent of us uh, can carry a tune. Rob, do you sing? And, and, and I don't. I don't know if you should. I, I don't know if you okay, should think of it as being yeah. talented. <laughs> I'm just worried. I'm just worried because it's, it's like they're usually singing another person's song, and I they're not playing an instrument. I, I, and I'm just worried about these young ladies. I, I believe that. that I think any- they think you should do that. And you should like make, make a chair. If you're listening to me out there, like I'm just worried. He about wants you, you to bury your like, dreams and start market, making I'm him worried. chairs. <laughs> Make Dan Harmon a chair and stop being such a singer. So when I send you a vine, do you watch it immediately? No. Do you watch it at all? Yes. Okay. All right. So, so when you don't respond, I shouldn't send it again. What am I supposed to type? Ha! Huh? Vine a palooza. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You don't have to, but, you this know. friendship. I feel like you guys are getting closer before our very eyes. I feel like it's like you keep, like, I think you guys are, it's, 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 it's fake to pretend that you guys don't really love each other. Anymore. Right. Sure. I'm doing my half. <laughs> doing it. No, I keep him around because he's confusing. Like, to me. Like, I'm going like, like what is he doing? What does he mean? Wait, wait, you, you, but you, hasn't uh, that uh, always been the case since you guys were youngsters? No, I used to, I used to, you know, we were like the two musketeers, but then, and then we, and then like, like, but now we're really old. I think our brains are dying, and I'm just like, we're, I feel like we're both on just like the rocking, the, the rocking chairs of life, and, and like, it's getting really funny. 
<laughs> but I'm also like really confused. I think it's like, I'm I'm not putting on a character when I'm like, what are you talking about? Why did you do that? But, but, today? He's, but Rob's always, you've always been like this, Rob. I, I feel no, like he's I, yeah. no, no. It's not true. He's changed, and so have I. No, I, he's I, always been this weird. Always. I don't call it, it weird. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't call it weird. He's, it's, there's always some prolonged, huge macro bit going on. That's all, that's always been the case since I've known you guys. I, well, I don't know, man. You wouldn't. You wouldn't want to live in a world without it. No, I. Look, I. <sighs> I'm just trying to. Exp- I'm saying like what you see. Is maybe what you've you lost get. some. Maybe you've lost something inside yourself that you forgot how to translate Rob's, uh, you know, unique qualities into into what, what's important to you. Maybe it's you that's changed, Dan. I'm, I I never doubted that. Yeah. Yeah. No. I. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sir. Sure. All right, we've gotten very old. Did you did you did you ever see the vine where there's like the old guy in, the, in like somewhere in Europe and he's like talking the it's all foreign language and but then another old guy like comes out in the background and he goes like meow, <laughs> no. ruff, ruff, meow. No, like, no. They're like really old. I always no. think like that that could that's, be us like one day. That definitely like, will like be somebody us. just like on camera and then like the other guy's going meow meow and the other guy's like what are you? Why I you? put my the other guy actually doesn't react. I put my will together uh, finally. Like I finally put, I like hired like a lawyer to get like my will together and I put and 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 like he came over to our house and we're going through and he and he goes and so. Um, if you're like on life support, you're getting and and something God forbid happens to Kate, who do you want to be in charge of pulling the plug on on you if 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 that <laughs> happens? And I said he's looking at his phone right now. Right? And then I said, <laughs> and I said I said Dan Harmon, and Kate goes, oh what the fuck, really? <laughs> <laughs> and go, really? Yeah. And I go, I go. If, if, if something after, you, I mean, you get you get first dibs, I honey, to I pull the plug. But if you're, some, God forbid, something happens to you, Dan, Dan's in charge. And I, I don't know. I, I, and I said this to, to her with the lawyer who I'm paying a lot of money to do this. I go, it's just gonna be really funny. <laughs> That's good. See, Dan, Dan has we always can, lived... Dan's going to be like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn it. He's going to get Steve... He's, he's going to make Steve Levy come over and do it. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. I was picturing like Kate's Kate's on vacation when it happens, or so like like some deadline, and I'm like calling her and going like, "Are we gonna pull the plug or not?" Like she's like, "It's my it's my say," and I'm like, "Yeah, but you're not here." Uh, I don't know. Yeah, if, I, let's say I did it already. Would you be upset? <laughs> The guy in charge of the plug was a Rick and Morty fan, and I, we were taking pictures, and then I, we were taking pictures of me pretending to pull the plug, and I didn't know if you plugged it back in, it wouldn't just turn back on. I, it reboots, and I didn't have the password. And just make what's the password? That's what, that's what I'm saying, Kate. What's the password for right. his heart and lung machine? Is it too late to make an addendum to to your will and say that not only is Dan the guy that does it just in case, but it has to be. Rig it up so it's an actual plug into a wall. Then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I want to. I, I, yeah, that's gonna be my you living will. Is like, if you're gonna put me on life support, I want an actual I want plug, plug. Okay. and I want, I want the local, uh, the local Lions Club to have to like pose and yeah. like it's a tug of war. <laughs> During a pancake, but, but also it, it, it's on a big power strip. Like, is it the is it the gray one or the big brown one? Like, hey, who's messing with the air conditioning in here? <laughs> or you could do, yeah. It was like it's we so spent too much time thinking about like the terms of our, yeah, the terms of your actual like, 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 or have it be like a doomsday clock and make it just characterize it as if like as you switch Dan Harmon to off, the world goes to shit. Like, you know, there's like sunshine and cows and then it like uh, there's like a midnight point in the middle as it goes from on to off. You know, picturing what I'm picturing? I, I got you. And there's like, you know, devils and Sauron and stuff on the thing. It's like Dan Harmon off and it's like, okay, here we go. Like, let's we 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 voluntarily enter a world of darkness. Do, do you have a, have you made a will, Dan? I don't I don't think so. 
Well, you would probably have to have been there. Yeah, you. Yeah, you uh, probably would know. Yeah, it's not something you can knock out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Steve, did you did you make me a will, Steve? Okay. Uh, Spencer, I, well, I noticed uh, when you make hotel, uh, we we had the, uh, the the restaurant reservations tonight, and it was under uh, under Levy, not Harmon. So I'm just wondering if you made the will, and it was like under Levy, not Harmon. Yeah. Uh, oh, you gotta keep. You gotta stay vigilant. These kids. Does he have like power of attorney over you? Is he? Is he is I bet he does. <laughs> I just wish that he just disappeared, and you're like, wait, all my money's gone, Steve. Steve. But that would be. If Steve Levy cleaned me out and disappeared tomorrow, yeah. I would. That's money well spent. <laughs> you got you got the go ahead, buddy. I always tell. I told both. Uh, I, I've said that to you many times, right? Like acting as my assistant, like I, so, like whenever you have to get like cash or petty Not cash. Not so many words, but, but I go yeah. like take something off the table, embezzle. For God's sake. Like, like, because you if I that, don't notice, then it's fine. Yeah, then you deserve it or something. Right, right. right. Because yeah. if it's possible for you to take... You're not if stealing I have so much little, money that you can take someone I don't notice, then have some. Because uh. <laughs> I could die any minute. Take my money. <laughs> not you, but... but. I'm like, I hear, I'm kind of like a Batman or Iron Man. Well, you clearly love Iron Man. You keep bringing that up. You're like, you, 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 you identify with the Tony Stark character, right? Well, I like, yeah. But I, and I, think I, fi- I, fi- I, fi- <laughs> I, fi- I fight, I fight, I fight my true. own, I fight, I fight the forces of my own discomfort. Glurp, glurp, glurp. <laughs> <laughs> that, no, that was me doing com- comic strip like glurp, glurps. Sound effects. Yeah. What's Iron Man's Lex Luthor? Uh, uh, it's a hammer, right? Uh, hammer that- Man. No, Hammer, what's his name? Hammer. His problem his problem is that people steal his suits and then he's like, "Oh no. That's my whole deal." That's Sam oh, Rockwell. See, no, I relate I relate to that character. <laughs> Wait, who uh what? Somebody somebody comes in to steal my suits? No, for I'll, sure I'll you'd fucking, be Tony I'll fucking, Stark. I'll go crazy, yeah. yeah. Leave my suits alone. The, honestly, I have terrible nightmares about people fucking up my suits. <laughs> But if I identified with anybody the most, it would be Lex Luthor, I think. Like, like I, but it's not... Me? You know, no, oh, me. You. Oh. Me. Okay. Because Lex Luthor hates Superman. I, Iron Man doesn't hate anybody. Who would you cast Rob as if you had to cast him as a DC or Marvel comic? I'm going to go, like... I got definitely, like, a, getting an Aquaman vibe from him. <laughs> I feel like... How about Spencer? Uh, for sure, like... Uh, like, uh, uh, like uh, Tron... <laughs> you know, Tron. Famous How about superhero. Who'd you cast me as? You, I think you could, you would make a good Black Panther. Are they political? Why is he Black Panther? Is he just actually I don't a Black know. Panther? I don't like the sound of it, though. That's why I haven't gone, because I don't see in that, you those, know, through that lens. Shrub looks like Professor Xavier. Yeah. I mean, looks like he's got the eyebrows. Not... Who'd you cast Dave but... Klein as? Dave Klein. Oh, Dave Klein. Well, he's Thor, right? I mean, he's saber tooth. But are we going with like physical looks? Like I would say, if I was going to get serious, no, I would like, say, okay, es- Shrab. Essence wise, essence wise, Shrab would be like. Uh, Shrab is like he's definitely a villain. Like he's like. A... <laughs> He's like a Mr. Like Mitchell Flasher. Like we, we, Dustin said the Riddler from backstage here. Yeah, that's good, yeah. Yeah. Oh, st- sorry, Steve said it. See, yeah. he, he just, he's, he's stealing Dustin's lines now. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. The Riddler. <laughs> this doesn't seem fruitful. I don't know. Hey, man, we're just making our way in the world. You okay, Dan? No. Did you get, did you get a little high? <laughs> Which one? Like, yeah. I'm like Truman Capote on. Yeah. No, the, maybe you, you you became kind of like cute and smiley and roly poly. Well, I'm just running out the clock. I mean, it really it just turns out I didn't really have anything to talk about the, tonight. Th- these people didn't. These people didn't come here to watch you run out the clock. They came here for high grade entertainment. No, I know. I'm trying to figure out how to make it. You Give know, these I, people entertainment. I want remember. to. I, I do want to. I, mean, I, do, I don't. What I want. I, don't, I want it to be. Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice. <laughs> Hey, Iron Man. <laughs> did, you, did you check out what's going on on Vine? Bring it up on the screen, computer. 
check this one out. <laughs> if you swipe left. I'm going to eat this donut so much. <laughs> you motherfucker. I'm going to eat this donut so much. <laughs> Freeze mother- it. Enhance. <laughs> <laughs> Enhance more. <laughs> Enhance even more. <laughs> Oh, back up a bit. You enhance too much. <laughs> Iron Man, take a look at that. Oh, my God. It's, it's Doom Nomatron. Doom Nomatron <laughs> is on Vine. Get your phone out. We got to get more hits than he does. I, more loops. I'm, I'm not good at improv and just stole a villain's name from an upcoming episode of Rick and Morty. <laughs> 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 I, just, I, just, I just stole it. But I think I, I think I wrote it, so I think I can steal it. I, but I don't remember. Okay. Sorry. You, you, you think you have a will. Let me take another run at that. Did you, okay, back it up, back it up. All right. All right. Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice. <laughs> hey, Batman. Oh, I'm Batman. Yes. What what's up lately? <laughs> Doesn't seem to be a lot of crime happening. Well, you start by trying to take back the night in your hometown, and then at some point you decide to move into a j- hall of justice. Yeah, <laughs> and suddenly your character takes on a strange, weird comic relief quality. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a weird time we're living in. Uh, it's like my whole dichotomy was about innocence and guilt and yeah. justice and uh, things, and now I just hang out with Aquaman. I know, I know. Uh, seven, corner pocket. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> uh, I'm you know sorry, who I... I don't like? Excuse me. Uh, it's, it's me, Alfred. Oh, I no. just came to see if you Auschwitz? were... Auschwitz? What? Alfred. Oh. Alfred. What? Alfred. Get the Alfred. gun! I-, I work for you forever. Uh, Alfred. <laughs> I- <laughs> I'm your... Ah! Ah! Okay. Uh, he called me... Uh, let's put his head on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe Auschwitz would think of coming into the Hall of Justice. <laughs> How did he make it past the... It may, you know, I like it. I like it. I like it when the villains come to us. It's like, it's like E24. We don't have to go outside or anything. Oh, what the... Uh, I'm, I'm Auschwitz. Why did you kill your butler, Alfred? <laughs> oh, uh, Awkward! Awkward. Oh shit! Oh shit! He's he went through seven layers of glass. I, I'm sorry. Hey, I didn't get your name, by the way. You called me Aquaman twice, but you you started over, okay? And I became Batman, as far as I knew. Right? You called me Aquaman twice. All right. Fine. Find an, a river and take it to an ocean that could help you chase that guy. Uh, meanwhile, I'll. Getting in my car, Barracuda, drive that shit. That guy's so slow. Alfred, send the bat. Alfred? (laughs) Alfred. Oh shit. Oh shit. All right. Um, All right. Uh, Okay. I think I think I know how to do this. Go go, Batman. Bat pack. Soaring up through the foyer of the Hall of Justice, there Batman goes through the opening dome, Justice Dome, and into the sky. Seeing Aquaman in the river below, they give each other the Justice League salute as they head... (laughs) I'm going to Tron's house. (laughs) Was he riding a bike? It's a pedal boat. Yo, Tron, let me in. All right. It's Aquaman. <laughs> Tron, let me in. I, it's it's Aqu- open. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? What do we got going on here, huh? Man, Just, you know what? who I don't like? Batman. Batman's a dick. Yeah. His parents, they sucked. Uh, yeah. 
They a were long shitty. time ago. Get over it. Yeah, man. My parents died. Yeah. You don't see me talking about no. it. No. That's why we hang out. Uh, hang out. Uh, where's the bong? You're sitting on it, man. I turned uh, this whole couch I'm into shit. a bong. I'm always sitting on bongs. That's one of my, one of my things. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's, I sucked on that shit. This is, this is the new cyber weed, man. Yeah. I'm going to blow that out of my gills. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, in the skies over Gotham, <laughs> I can't remember where I was going. Prime rib? Uh, where was that? Prime rib? What? Would you? Bong rib. Bong. That was bong. back at the other scene. Right. That's you know he was he wants me to do that too. But I, I so there was a thing we were going to. I'm talking to you because. No, you just right. decided to leave. I think. <laughs> You were going to go get Doom Namatron. Oh, right, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm almost on my way to Doom Namatron. Oh, it's me, Alfred, the ghost of Alfred, your butler that you killed, you fucking mm. piece of garbage. The lives of the fucking. innocent are the price of the war yeah, on but crime. You fucking. Can't hear you. La, 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 la. Gave you the best years of my life. Yeah. If I listened to ghosts, I'd never get anything done. If you didn't have a butler, you wouldn't get anything done. I do all the fucking work. Can't hear you over the sound of me avenging your death. This Tony Stark makes all his own shit. You have other people do that. You're like you're like the Trump of superheroes. You fucking <laughs> ghost power. <laughs> Doom Ramatron. I know you know I'm here. Yeah. What's up? Who is it? I'm Batman. Yeah. I'm here. Yeah, I don't know you. <laughs> I don't know no Batman. Uh, what you've we? heard about me. No, no. Every time I beat up one of your friends, I say, tell all your friends about me. Yeah. I've, I've crunched the numbers. I know it's gotten back no, to you. No, no, no. Let me, okay, let me, let me think about it a little bit. Yeah, no, you've heard of me. No, let me think. I'm not. Th- th- it's Batman. Don't high road me. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think I heard you. Yeah. Heard about oh, some yeah. man bad. So aloof. Doom Namatron, who's out? Who are you talking to out some, there? Some who's bat you, man. We're watching TV in here. Yeah, we're watching TV. We got no time for this. Doom I'm Namatron, you tell that bat lady to go away. Get the get away. I've got to go. Go back. <sighs> a well-placed gel spray uh, shaped like a bat for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> few steps back. Press the X key, I think. <laughs> D- door open. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 shit. God damn it. Shit. Shit. Bat, 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 narco, narco jets. I didn't hurt your dog. I put him to sleep. I mean, I made him go asleep. Oh, hell no. What the fuck? Oh, hell no. What did you do to Ladybug? Oh, hell What did you do to Ladybug? What did you do to Ladybug? You should have opened the door. Why did you do that you to Ladybug? You should have opened the door. Uh, we had him for 13 years. Why did years. you do that to Keep Ladybug? Keep your hands where I can see them. Stop resisting. Why did you do that to Ladybug? Keep your hands where I can see them. Oh. I'm putting this on Vine. <laughs> Put down the gun. Bat, 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 bat. <laughs> bat shaped batarangs. Bat, bat, bat. Loop. <laughs> what? I boomeranged it. It was Instagram. I shot batarangs at you. Right. <laughs> I'm not denying it. You killed my dog. You're under arrest. For. What? Being I don't a- see no badge either. You're dressed up like a, a 
Hello, nine one one. Devil Nine one one. Some 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 crazy underoos walked in here right now and just killed Ladybug. I had this dog for thirteen years. Just put the phone down. I'm a Batman. The he's police he's know me. wearing more than a t-shirt and briefs. He lo- so I would not call him no, an like, underoos. He looks like a like a underoos Beyonce. No, that doesn't. You're gonna confuse him because he's wearing more than just a t-shirt and briefs. <laughs> It would be confusing to call him under rules. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't confuse the police. They got plenty of things to do. Meanwhile, back at Tron's house. Hey! Do you want to ride light hey! bikes around? Hey! Hey! Where's the orange slices? Who are you talking to, man? What? Who are you talking to? The person I'm talking and yelling at. I'm right next to you. Okay, where are the orange Slices. They're in the fridge. We're standing right in front of them. That's why I like you. <laughs> Can I have some orange slices? Yeah, man. Oh, good. <laughs> hey, don't answer that. Oh, I already did. did. Hello? Sorry. It's disrespectful. Hey. Hello? It's, uh, <laughs> hey, it's Batman. I, listen, I got a bit of a situation. I, uh, do, you, do you have any... Uh, don't the, bogart the orange slices. <laughs> Hello? Hey. Beep. Are you there? Please leave a message at the tone. What are you what doing? What the fuck? <laughs> Hello? I, I did the tone before oh, I did the... Hey, it's, well, it's Batman. It doesn't but... make sense. I, I don't think you hung up people. the phone. I can hear people. <laughs> it's Batman. Do you have a fish tank? Yes. Why would I... Hey, Batman, it's me, Alfred. I'm hanging up. I'm hanging out with the ghost of that dog you just killed. He just kicked my fish. Everybody you killed, we're all hanging out up here, having a good old time. Uh, is that a ghost? I gotta, I gotta get justice. Hanging up. <laughs> Doom Namatron. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I. I'm sorry. I transgressed. I made a mistake. I put myself above the law. I feel bad. I acknowledge I did that. I'm going to think better of it in the future. I'm leaving. Bat, 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 bat. bat. Oh. Oh, who was that? Oh, thanks, kid. He's Hispanic, though. No, I mean, that's innocent. It's people I protect. Can't do anything for me. It's my job to do something for them. It's just not powerful enough. Only rich enough. If I just turn around backwards and fall backwards, spreading my arms in a bat shape. What is he doing? Is, it, is, it, is this like the end of Birdman? It's weird. God damn it, the cape is designed to automatically make me land like a hero. I it's thought weird. I would kill it's, myself. It's weird to see him during the day. I know. It's weird. It's like it's like 3.30. I thought he was... It's, ladies, it's, ladies. It's, it's weird. It's hey, weird. It's hey. weird. He's, what is he doing? He's just, I'm right here. He's weird. It's weird. You don't have, hey, hey, hey. I can hear you. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah we're, we're picking up our children from school. <laughs> I'm Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Fucking Bruce Wayne. I, don't, I, I, I don't, live in I the don't... biggest house in the city. <gasps> I'm the guy that has oh. equipment approximating so, 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 Batman. So this whole time, we just thought you were like, a, like an underdog hero, but you're just a rich person? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I wasn't a poor person with... Fucking military equipment. <laughs> uh, uh, I was a I was a rich person. That just that. Uh, well, why didn't you give all that money to like the police force or the hum- uh, the poor? Because corruption lies in every darkness. Snap! Oh fuck! I snapped her neck. Oh, fuck! <laughs> mace, mace, uh, uh, mace. Uh, anti bat mace. <laughs> well, maybe you don't recognize me, Batman. Snake King. <laughs> Yes. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> nice to meet you. 
I didn't even have an S on the end of it, and I added a gratuitous... The villain is so reptilian that words without S's yeah. still... Yes. I was bitten by a radioactive spider and turned into a snake. What did you base that on? I don't know. It's all fucked up. What, can you climb walls? Yeah, well, I can, I can kind of go up trees. Are you sure you're not a spider? Are you sure you don't have spider powers I, and you just mistakenly decided to opt for a snake? I don't know. I, I, I'm pretty... I slither about. I, I kind of go... You still define slither. I, I go around. I go up a tree. Watch this. That, a spider can do that. But yeah, but they go... They, they, they walk up a tree. I, well, watch this. But that's... You're a human being going like this up a tree. That's a spider can yeah, do that. you're not a bat. <laughs> I didn't get bit by anything. I, I, I was just taking the shit out of you. I was fucking around. I don't know. You're, like, you're just a crazy guy. I'm not a snake. Kyle? <laughs> How did you recognize me? You're dude. You're the only guy that gave me the business in high school. I've been following you around for your entire career. You knew I was Batman. Every time you saw a shadow that wasn't yours... One of those shadows was mine. <laughs> <laughs> they call me hot farts. Do you guys do you guys mind if I Hot just... Farts away <laughs> Shit. What? What? I just it's my car, I gotta pull out. You guys are <laughs> You, I, I'll re- be real quick. I'm just gonna go. I just I'm getting late. You know, you can continue this. I can continue what? what My friend do- left. You can continue standing there after. You, I uh, oh, can I? How about I take your car? How about I take your fucking car? I, I, you know what I think? I think you're a criminal. I'm a vigilante. I think you're a criminal. Step back. Step the fuck back. I'm taking your car. Give me the keys. I'll use bad equipment to give me the. If you're lucky, I'll leave it somewhere. <laughs> Where is the? How do you fucking? What is this? You don't have to put the key. Don't in, you fucking just press don't the get, put your fingers out of my face. Just press the button. You don't. There's. You don't. There's no. Fucking you don't dick. have to. Just press the button. You don't have to put fucking the key. Button. In. What? Pick a lane. Is it a Batmobile or a car? It's a my car. It's not a Batmobile. How's? Why is there a key if there's a power button? What the fuck are you people? I'm not Henry Ford, motherfucker. Just press the button or get. I can't. It's not making a sound. Can I move now? It's like a golf cart. Maybe a di- you should steal someone else's car. <laughs> I'm taking this. God damn it! Taking this. Watch it. You're gonna fuck hit. It. Just shut up. You're gonna hit the mailbox. Fuck, I can't hear you. I'm a, I'm a block away. I'm a block away. It's really loud. Uh, Woo. Oh, fuck. Are you fucking kidding me? Woo. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Shit. Hey, it's me. I was an undercover cop. <laughs> Cliffhanger! <laughs> yeah. Well, if you didn't have fun... That's yeah, not our fault. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers for uh, Rob Schraub, everybody. Steve Levy, who made an appearance. Spencer Crittenden. Ben. Uh, 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 go check what's it called. Uh, Guns Don't Lie. Find that guy's movie. Pay for it. Help him make that awesome western. I'm Jeff Davis. You're Mayor Dan Herman. Hot fire. Did you get any of that? It's a good show.